Hi guys, wish you a very very good morning. This is me Ashish Joshi, and you are watching me on the channel of Ativa. So here it is, 26th of August, 2020, and we are going to take today's the Hindu news analysis. The first news is based on JE NEET at opposition's meeting. CMs move plan to move Supreme Court on JE NEET. So near seven CMs at tech center on key issues just like uh, GST, NEET, and all. Okay. So what happened there? States ruled by BJP rivals are likely to file a joint review petition in the Supreme Court against the Union Min Education Minister's decision to go ahead with the G and NEET in September. This decision was taken at an online meeting of seven CMs. Who also bitterly attacked the center and demanded a revisit of the GST framework if the union government is unable to pay the compensation. Congress President Sonia Gandhi attended the meeting along with CM Mamata Banerjee of West Bengal, Uddhav Thakre of Maharashtra, Hemant Soren of Jharkhand, Ashok Gehlot of Rajasthan, Captain Amrinder Singh of Punjab, Bupesh Baghel of Chhattisgarh, and V Narayan Sami of Puducherry. In her op uh, opening remarks, Ms. Gandhi said the meeting has been had been called owing to pressing issues that just a minute yeah okay yeah impinged on central state relations she cited delayed gst payouts ordinance issued on agricultural market the draft environment impact assessment notification 2020 auction of coal mine uh, privatization of public sector assets and national education policy so you can see here every individual topic which was, which was in news by these days was put it i mean it the all these points were there in those cms and uh, the especially congress president sonia gandhi they all meet uh, together and then this discussed all about these issues only okay and uh, they specially cited the uh, delayed GST also. So somewhere I can say that the situations of uh, situations are. Look, uh, basically, I will bilingual. I will take bilingual. The reason behind this, we have both the audience. We have both the crowds like English medium and Hindi medium. So I would like to uh, you know consider both the mediums, and I have to consider even. So what is happening? Uh, Hindi के अंदर अगर मैं discuss करूं तो basically Congress का पलटवार हो रहा है BJP के ऊपर Congress ने जो है opposition की meeting हुई है जिसके अंदर CMs और Congress President जो है सोनिया गांधी ये इन लोगों ने मिल करके एक meeting की है जिसके तहत JEE NEET, GST, coal mines, petroleum, agricultural products और इनसे related recent जो भी issues हैं जैसे कि public sector और privatization of public sector assets, national education policy इन सभी matters इन सभी मुद्दों को discuss किया गया और इन्हीं इन पर सभी पर सवाल उठाए गए ठीक है सभी CMs जितने भी थे उन सब ने इस पर based meeting ली जिसके अंदर जैसा कि मैंने आपको भी नाम बताया ममता बनर्जी and उद्धव ठाकरे राजस्थान CM झारखंड के CM और पंजाब इन सभी जगहों के पुडुचेरी छत्तीसगढ़ इन सभी जगहों के जो भी सीएम्स और हैं उन सब ने इकट्ठे होकर और यहाँ पे मीटिंग ली और इस मीटिंग के तहत ये सारे इश्यूज डिस्कस किए गए जो और रिसेंट एक बहुत बड़ा मुद्दा है जेई नीट से रिलेटेड है ना और ये मुद्दा ये है कि जेई नीट जो है के एग्जाम्स जो है उन्हें एक्सटेंड करने की डिमांड की जा रही है उन्हें आगे ले जाने की डिमांड की जा रही है उसका रीज़न ये है कि अभी जिस तरह के पोजीशन है जिस तरह की कंडीशन है उसको देखते हुए बच्चों का ये एग्ज़ाम देने जाना अपने आप में थोड़ा सा रिस्की फैक्टर है और क्योंकि एग्ज़ाम करीब है सेंटर्स दूर दूर हैं तो सेंटर्स के लिए जाना और पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ना अवेलेबल हो पाना एक बहुत बड़ा मुसीबत का कारण बन चुका है ठीक है वहीं पेरेंट्स का ये कहना है कि इतने जिस समय कोविड नाइन्टीन का ये जो दौर है जिसके तहत बहुत सारे कॉम्प्लिकेशन देखने को मिल रहे हैं और सोशल डिस्टेंस सिंह के नॉर्म्स को फॉलो करने की हिदायत दी जा रही है उसके चलते हम इस तरह का कोई स्टेप नहीं लेंगे कि हम अपने बच्चों को एग्ज़ाम देने भेजें ठीक है और सुप्रीम कोर्ट का अभी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने रिसेंटली जो पटिशन साइन की गई थी इसके लिए जे ई नीट को एक्सटेंड करने के लिए पोस्टपोन करने के लिए तो उसके लिए जो पटिशन साइन की गई थी 
उसको खारिज कर दिया है ये कहते हुए कि ये बेसलेस है इसमें ऐसा कोई भी मैटर डिस्कस नहीं किया गया है ऐसा कोई वैलिड रीज़न नहीं है जिसकी वजह से एग्ज़ाम को एक्सटेंड किया जाए ठीक है तो ये सारा मुद्दा है रिसेंट गर्मा गर्मी का पॉलिटिकल सिचुएशंस में वहीं पे दूसरी तरफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट हिट्स आउटेड सेंटर ऑन लोन मॉरिटोरियम सिस्टम लोन मॉरिटोरियम सिस्टम पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने सेंटर को हिट किया है और डोंट हाइड बिहाइंड आरबीआई आरबीआई के पीछे आप छुपिए नहीं और जो रिलीफ है कंसिडर प्रोवाइडिंग रिलीफ कैसे रिलीफ पहुँचाना है मॉरिटोरियम स्कीम के तहत लोन मॉरिटोरियम स्कीम के तहत ये सब चीज़ें आपको गौर करनी होगी ये कहना है सुप्रीम कोर्ट का सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑन वेंसडे या वेंसडे क्रिटिसाइज द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट फॉर हाइडिंग बिहाइंड द आर बी आई विदाउट मेकिंग इट्स स्टैंड क्लियर ऑन द लोन मॉरिटोरियम स्कीम इंट्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यूरिंग द कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक के दौरान जो मॉरिटोरियम सिस्टम है लोन मॉरिटोरियम का उसके ऊपर किसी तरह का कोई भी कार्यवाही नहीं की गई है उसे कोई भी जो उससे रिलेटेड जो भी कार्य है वो नहीं किए जा रहे हैं और आर बी आई के पीछे छुपा जा रहा है ऐसा कहना है सुप्रीम कोर्ट का यूनियन गवर्नमेंट के मुद्दे पर ठीक है द टॉपिक कोर्ट सॉरी द टॉप कोर्ट वॉन्टेड टू नो वेदर द डिफरेंट ऑफ लोन इंटरेस्ट टू प्रॉपर बॉरोवर्स थ्रू देयर फिनेंशियल क्राइसिस ड्यूरिंग द नेशनल लॉकडाउन वुड लीड टू एक्ल ऑफ फर्दर इंटरेस्ट वंस द फ्रीज इज लिफ्टेड ऑन ऑगस्ट थर्टी फोन द गवर्नमेंट इज येट टू फाइल इट्स एफिडेविट सो समवेयर गवर्नमेंट ने अभी तक इससे रिलेटेड जो मुद्दा सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने उठाया द इशू रेज बाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज दैट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज हाइडिंग इट्स फ्राम सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड द प्रजेंट सिचुएशन दे आर हाइडिंग बिहाइंड दी आर बी आई एंड दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो थ्रू ऑल द सिचुएशन वॉट आर गोइंग ऑन रिगार्डिंग द लोन मॉरिटोरियम स्कीम ओके इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग दी कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक बट हेयर द थिंग इज दैट नो एनी फर्दर एक्टिविटी इज गोइंग ऑन एंड नो आई कैन से नो सिचुएशन आर गोइंग गुड एंड द वर्स्ट सिचुएशन कुड बी इट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड एंड इट शुड बी वर्कड ऑन अ प्रॉपर ट्रेक ओके गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज एम्पल पावर्स अंडर डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एक्ट यू शुड क्लैरिफाई टू इशूज वॉट आर द टू इशूज वेदर इंटरेस्ट कैन बी चार्ज और वेदर इंटरेस्ट ऑन इंटरेस्ट कैन बी लिवाइड ओके द इशू वॉज क्रिएटेड बाई दी बाई योर लॉकडाउन नाउ यू कैन नॉट लुक इन टू बिजनेस अलोन बट फ्लाइट ऑफ पीपल शुड ऑल्सो बी लुकड इन टू ओके so in this particular article stri- article striking a balance is also uh, discussed with matta said that the government was working in t- uh, yeah tenement listen oh, wait 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 i have to go for it okay uh, yeah tandem with the central bank and it was unfair to say it did not have an independent view the coach gave the center time till september 1 to file a detailed affidavit regarding loan moratorium scheme okay the issue was created by your lockdown now you cannot look into the business alone by plight of people should look to also be looked into okay so the situation was going on and uh, the th- uh, thing is that loan moratorium scheme is the center of i can say the um, uh, center of point it is the centroid that is going on between supreme court and center okay so let's see what is going to be the next and it is just like uh, you know um, hum keh sakte hain fatkar lagai gayi hai supreme court dwara union government central government ko okay so this is all about it the next article is based on a shot in the dark pakistan's allegations have little merit but india must take its diplomatic strategy seriously india's strong protest to be union security council over pakistan's so called statement to a special discussion on terrorism is explained by a number of factors first the statement which pakistan's min- uh, mission to the un published as something delivered to an open debate on a report by the UN Secure Secretary Council was never actually delivered the only countries invited to the discussion were permanent and non-permanent member of UN Security Council and official briefing them okay neither does the UNSC 
it means UN Security Council take cognizance of statements by non-participating countries. The statement then appeared to be an exercise by Pakistan repeating its allegations against India. In the letter, Pakistan's ambassador sought or sought to portray Pakistan as a victim of cross-border terrorism and claimed that Pakistan is responsible and for decimating Al-Qaeda in the region. So basically the situation is like everything is uh, regarding terrorism is connected with uh, Pakistan and this article says that Pakistan's allegation have little merit but India must take its diplomatic strategy seriously. Okay. It is not about uh, to get love to, uh, you know, I can say preposterous. But here the thing is, we need to worry about it. We need to worry about the reputation of us, our strategies. We need to worry about what is happening regarding the terrorism. We have to work on what is going on. Okay. The statement then appeared to be an exercise by Pakistan in repeating its allegations against India. In the letter, Pakistan's ambassador sought to portray Pakistan as a victim of cross-border terrorism and claimed to that Pakistan is responsible. Okay, so uh, as India's mission, a mission at the UN retorted the envoy could not have forgotten that Osama bin Laden and other leaders of the terror groups were all found in Pakistan. The statement then went on to list four types of terrorism Pakistan conference, each of which was attributed to Pak India. The first included some of the attacks in Pakistan carried out by the Tehreek e Taliban, that is TTP. Okay, so somewhere we can say Tehreek e Taliban and Al Qaeda, Jaish e Mohammed, all are having shelter in Pakistan or I can say Indian, Indian terror syndicate funded by the um, based on Afghanistan is also funded by the Pakistan so somewhere the situations are like every individual country every individual um, part of this world is scared about a thing that is terrorism and the terrorism is funded or feeding uh, Pakistan is feeding the um, terrorism and terrorist activities or terrorist groups and the terrorism activities or terrorism is basically going to spread only because of Pakistan we can say like this we don't know what's the things behind this but according to our uh, you know our uh, investigations our situations our uh, reports our inv uh, agency secret agencies report and our uh, the ongoing things we can understand or we can say that the things which are going on regarding terrorism is somewhere the biggest funded part or I can say the biggest part of Pakistan and the Pakistan is not still not aware but about what is going on finally there is a oft repeated allegation about Indian government actions in Jammu and Kashmir which is refers to a state terrorism okay so India which has described these allegations as prosperators and laughable need to worry about it need to worry about its reputation given its acclaimed role in fighting terror and cooperating on the international stage to deny terrorist funding and safe heaven pakistan has consistently done the opposite and its continued gray listing at the financial action task force that is fatf as well as the presence of the name of hundreds of Pakistani terrorist groups and individuals on UN terror list are proof of that. Even so, it is important that the government take the Pakistani attempt to build its case seriously and preempt its larger strategy to paint India in a poor light ahead of its tenure at the UN Security Council 2021 and 22 and the upcoming scrutiny process of the FATF it means financial action task force so hope you got everything every individual point is indicating that Pakistan is 
uh, feeding or I can say funding the uh, terrorist groups and the terrorist groups are taking advantage of it and they are targeting India as well as India is a very well known country to be the um, you know food of terrorism terrorist, terrorist activities were also uh, always been happen in India it is always going on by the time but here it is also a fact that the recent action of Indian government that is to collapse the article 370 is somewhere the basic reason behind the terrorist activities which will be going ahead and the special thing is the reason behind this that we are thinking about the terrorists regarding Jammu and Kashmir the Jammu Kashmir itself is the state of terrorist and somewhere the people living in Jammu Kashmir are uh, um, you know a group of uh, some negotiable peoples they don't want to carry the situation they don't want to understand the situation they just want their own country or own state okay so all these uh, things are here in this article a shot in the dark here and uh, let me explain in Hindi. So, jo situations are hai, abhi, jo, jis, jo situations are happening in terrorist activities are related to Jaish Mohammed, Al Qaeda, Tariqi Taliban. And these are the things that are organizations are fund in Indian Terrorist Syndicate, which is Pakistan, Afghanistan based. And in this case, Pakistan has a terror uh, funding groups which fund kar rahe hai, Pakistani government even trying to fund them and what the activities are going on against the India on sabhi mein inka support hai aur isi ke saath mein ab India ko aware ho jane ki zarurat hai unhi ye dekhne ki zarurat hai ki kaha hum log kis tarikhe se apne security agencies ko aur strong bina sakte hai kis tarikhe se khud ko aur strong bina sakte hai jisse hum terrorist activities ko avoid kar sakte hai even is se bach sakte hai na Next, अगर हम बात करें तो पाकिस्तान को इस पर वर्क करने की जरूरत है and uh, हमने अंधेरे में तीर लगाने की यहाँ बात कही है और somewhere this is also a fact that we always देखिए बहुत सारे जैसे C A A issue है राम मंदिर issue है या 370 article 370 वाला issue है जम्मू कश्मीर वाला तो ये सारे disputes ऐसे हैं जो कहीं ना कहीं India के अंदर opposition को create करते हैं जैसे ही opposition किसी country में create होता है ये मान के चलिए कि वो opposition terrorism का रूप लेता ही है जब वो हिंसक रूप धारण कर लेता है okay so all these things are happening in country and what we have to do is we have to be aware about it we have to create the security agencies we have to create a very well um, you know private or secret agents to create to avoid the terrorist activities okay the next is sobering assessment the rbi's annual report makes clear there is more pain in store for the economy three weeks after its monetary policy committee decided to hold fire on interest rates and accelerating retail inflation the rbi has forecast more pain for the economy its assessment of the economic landscape and is um, its progress no wait okay where i was yeah yeah its prognosis for near term prospects posit a stark picture of demand hollowed by out by the severe shock to private consumption public finances strained by the imperative of funding mitigation measures anemic appetite for investment among corporates and credit flow impending risk aversion among bankers to name but a few, COVID-19 induced economic contraction that manifested itself in the fiscal first quarter in most now almost certain to extend through the July-September period. The RBI said it is the annual report and observing that the re-imposition sorry, re or stricter imposition of lockdowns in different parts of the country in july and august had mainly contributed to damping the tentative revivals in momentum 
seen in the preceding two months. Okay, it uh, said that several recent high frequency indicators pointed to an unprecedented retrenchment in activity, noting that the services sector has been a prime mover of the Indian economy. And central flag, central bank flagged the fact that whatever consumption had survived the shock was now manifesting as essential spending with services, including transport and hospitality, hospitality among completely evascerated. So somewhere we can say that the RBI's annual report clear it makes clear that there is more pain in store of for the economy. This economy is going squeezed, it is tightly squeezed around and the capital spendings are also, you know, it is uh, cutting down and the, something what is happening is the economy is going really very down. The situation of economy is somewhere very, very worst condition, our economy is in very worst condition and we have to work on it and according to RBI, the situations are like more painful to restore the economy and somewhere uh, this, all these things are discussed in this particular article, monetary policy and recent fiscal, second fiscal um, or I can say quarter three uh, described that the things are not that much usual as it is, okay. A revival will ensure only once consumers regain confidence to go out and spend and that as of now seems a fair distance away so somewhere uh, see what is happening consumers have to be created demand have to be raised according to the economy if we want to grow up the economy or we want to our economy to be on track the situation is like every individual is affected by COVID-19. They don't have that much money to raise their demand at all. And if the demand will not be generated, the supply will definitely be affected. As it is going on, the demand is very low. Supply is also going on. The industrial sector has been started. Service sector and even after COVID-19, the service sector has already been started with a new, uh, you know, uh, new energy and new uh, level of consumption sorry new level of production so we need to go through that particular level of consumption also but here according to the situation we can't go through that level of consumption so um, somewhere covid 19 affected a huge uh, gave a huge impact on service sector if you are you are in service sector your services will definitely be affected and it is affected because our economy is going down only because of our affected conditions and our um, you know un, uh, i can say not the level we are not on the uh, position we are not in the position or we are not on the level to participate in market or to create the consumers or to create the consumption because for consumption we need demand and if demand will not be raised and according to our income and according to our affected conditions regarding COVID-19 or our economy the situations are not that much clear or that much unaffected okay so somewhere this article containing the assessment of all these things and the assessment is actually sobering okay the next is perils of prematurely imparted literacy by making funda uh, foundational literacy and numeracy a target of early schooling we will stress further and embattle childhood so somewhere it is all about the um, new breakup uh, national education policy has also been discussed the culture of speed is discussing and uh, the need of what it is in education system and of a child is also discussed here and uh, foundational literacy and numeracy will definitely target early schooling so uh, if the early schooling will be started then the childhood will definitely be in uh, vain you know and uh, the premature imparted literacy will definitely affect the perils and uh, somewhere the situation is like the students are going down the student situation of schools long shadow or now extended to the home and parents and um, with the relief and when they secure their children's admission to a nursery in the third year of their life if not earlier okay Changing finally, uh, family norms and social conditions make the transfer of the young child from home to a nursery inevitable. 
although nurseries routinely use the rhetoric of play well play way okay their programs are mostly a downward extension in the school so the social reality makes early childhood education in its present form a mixed blessings by promoting foundational literacy and numeracy as a schooling we are likely to stress further an education or already embattled students already students are really going to the battles of their lives according to the education system and the new policy will definitely create the stress regarding this because the students life is going shorter and the uh, education life is going longer okay so all these things are uh, discussed in this particular video and particular article and if you want to go through the further articles you want to discuss more items then definitely just mention it comment box and mention it in comment section and definitely tell me how the session was do you really like it and if you like it just don't forget to press the like button and definitely subscribe the channel so that you can get every individual notification regarding our channel okay and uh, the thing is every uh, everything that is going on our channel is related somewhere related to the uh, current affairs and it will definitely be beneficial for you okay so all the discussed points should be considered you have to take it at your home and you have to consider it at your home okay and uh, the next two basically a uh, last article remain um, undiscussed so what is happening in this article the recent reforms in agricultural marketing having brought a sea change in the policy and the removal of restrictions under the essential commodity act that is eca should help attract pro private investment in agriculture and farm and help farmers of cereals pulses oil seeds onion potato who have been adversely affected by the policy resign high third okay that discover uh, discouraged private investment the two new ordinances are expected to enable interstate trade and promote contract farming farming thereby providing a large number of options to farmers so here at this article is particularly based on agriculture and uh, the making agricultural market reforms are uh, successful and uh, central policy consistency and the complementary reforms and a collaborative center state approach are necessary all these things are discussed here the, how the policy what how and what type of things the policy reveals and uh, what are the reversals of policy what are the better coordination regarding this all these things are discussed here in this article so it is such a very good article regarding agriculture we need to go through the agricultural market because somewhere this is the root of root of our economy our culture our tradition of india okay and even of our every individuals of india so somewhere the agricultural reforms and uh, the are discussed here and the agriculture activities our agricultural market the center approach the states approach the reforms and the pol central policies are discussed here okay so you should go for it in conclusion we can say the consistency in policy collaboration approach and contemporary reforms are necessary for the success of the Re recent agricultural market reforms so this can be the question it can be the question okay uh, regarding agricultural market reforms now this is the homework for you you have to go through it you just have to read the particular this article and also go through other sources and tell me what are the major agricultural reforms market reforms that has been seen recently okay you have to tell me in comment section Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Have a great day. And if you have any doubt, any doubt regarding the uh, or any issue regarding the um, this kind of discussion or all these things, then you should or you can give me a ping in comment section. You can give me a message. Just drop the message. You will definitely get your reply. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Have a great time ahead.